Hi there. Today we're going to talk about heartburn because it's one of the most common digestive symptoms um, that people suffer with around the world. Um, one of the most common complaints that people um, talk to me about when they come and see me or speak to me on the phone. Now, heartburn is a very misunderstood condition and there are several reasons for that. I don't want to go into too many politics today, but one of the main reasons why heartburn is uh, misunderstood is because the pharmaceutical companies want to sell antacid drugs. Um, statistically, antacid drugs are some of the highest selling drugs on the planet. Um, things like Nexium, Prilosec, Zantac, um, these are all acid lowering drugs and they're there to try and quell heartburn. Now, the reason these drugs are on sale, um, the reason these drugs make so much money for the pharmaceutical companies is that um, the, they are sold on the presupposition that in order to have heartburn, someone has to be producing too much stomach acid. And in actual fact, when you talk to some of the really good forward-thinking gastro doctors, um, particularly in the US, they will tell you that most people actually have heartburn because of two things. Number one, they have too little stomach acid in their bodies or in their stomach. And number two, they have normal stomach acids, but the stomach acid is irritating damaged digestive tissue. Now, we know, if we take these in order now, number one, we know that if you have H. pylori, the H. pylori can set off an autoimmune reaction which destroys or damages the parietal cells in the stomach. Now, the parietal cells are the cells that produce hydrochloric acid. So if you have damage to these cells, you don't produce enough acid. The reason you get heartburn in these situations is because you cannot digest your food properly. So the less acid you have, the less you're able to digest your food. The longer your food stays in your stomach, the more it putrefies and it starts to give off gases. And that gives the sensation of the acid and burning feeling in your stomach. But it's not because you are producing too much acid. It's because you are making too little stomach acid. And of course, if you then take antacid medications like Prilosec, Nexium, Tagamet, whatever it might be, Zantac, you are going to make the problem worse. Now, this is also an issue because the lower your stomach acid is and the less you're able to digest your food, the more nutrient deficient you're going to become. And the more nutrient deficient you're going to, you become, then um, the more symptoms you're going to have. Fatigue, um, skin problems, energy problems, sleep problems, uh, mood issues, lack of ability to think clearly. All these different symptoms can come about because of this. So the last thing you want to do if you have heartburn is to immediately go on heart anti-heartburn medications until you know for sure that you have too much or too little stomach acid. So I hope that makes sense. Um, think of having a cut on your finger. If you pour vinegar into the cut, it's gonna hurt like hell because the vinegar is very acid. So the same thing happens in the digestive tract. Again, if you have H. pylori, it will irritate the stomach lining. And if it irritates the stomach lining, it makes red, sore tissue. If you have acid constantly in contact with that tissue, it's going to cause heartburn, it's gonna cause discomfort in the stomach and chest area. This doesn't mean to say that you need to take stomach or acid lowering drugs to correct the problem because you, it's just a band-aid, it's not getting to the underlying cause of the problem. What you need to do is do a test to find out whether you have H. pylori, clear the H. pylori, and then the problem will go away. Now, the reason the pharmaceutical companies make so much money out of this is because if you take the antacid drugs, you do not address the cause of the problem. So if the cause of the problem is H. pylori, you're not going to get to the bottom of it just by taking antacid drugs for 5, 10, 15 years, but you will put a lot of money in the pharmaceutical company's pockets. If you have irritated tissue in the stomach caused by an H. pylori infection, you will not resolve that problem by taking antacid drugs. The antacid drugs might make you feel better, they might reduce the symptoms, but they will not address the root cause of the problem. And if the root cause of the problem is H. pylori, and all you do is take antacid drugs, then you've got a big problem because the H. pylori may start to uh, uh, cause uh, changes in the, the morphology of the stomach tissue, which could lead to cancer. Okay, so it's a very serious issue and it's something that you need to think about. In my experience, heartburn, 
acid reflux and all these weird and wonderful symptoms, they just go away if you look after yourself by changing your diet and identify H. pylori and clear the H. pylori. So the biggest recommendation that I can make if you are stuck on antacid medications or whether you're deciding whether or not to go on to these medications is as follows. Number one, buy my Overcoming H. pylori Naturally ebook. Um, even if you don't have H. pylori, this ebook will help you significantly because it has a very in-depth nutrition program that helps remove all the key foods that can contribute to these symptoms. So it's things like gluten and cow's milk, which many people will tell you are healthy, but in my experience are the most important foods to cut down on or eliminate. So that is a very, very important resource for you. And the reason I wrote it is so that you can understand how diet and nutrition affects your stomach and how these symptoms can occur. Number two, you need to ask your doctor to get tested for H. pylori and or you need to get a test from an independent lab that will give you data about your entire digestive function. So are you digesting your food properly? Do you have enough acid? Do you have enough enzymes? Um, do you have any other digestive infections that might be causing a problem? Things like uh, yeast and fungal overgrowth, which can cause heartburn, blastocystis hominis, worm infections, cryptosporidium. They can all cause heartburn and lead to uh, the same problems as H. pylori. So just to conclude, if you are constantly using Nexium or one of its sister medications, if you constantly have heartburn or acid reflux, pay attention to your diet and lifestyle, get a test for H. pylori, they are the reasons the heartburn is there, it's not because you have an antacid deficiency. Okay, so thanks very much for listening and I hope this video has been helpful.